It's my great pleasure to now invite Mr David Rogers to deliver the occasional address. David Rogers has been the Chief Executive Officer of Challenge, a not-for-profit organisation that provides ongoing support services to children and families living with cancer and other life-threatening blood disorders for 22 years. He graduated from Victoria University with a Bachelor of Arts in Recreation in 1996. After university, David went to work with children with a disability in both a voluntary capacity as a wheelchair basketball coach and doing paid work with the Spastic Society and Autistic Society. At his time at Challenge, David has helped to grow the program from a small entity holding one to two camps per year into a $2 million holistic program. Please warmly welcome Mr Rogers. Deputy Chancellor, Vice Chancellor. Well, I feel very honoured to be here today. Um, I was a graduate of, uh, of, of Victoria University. Uh, when I started, I was at, uh, at Footscray Institute and it graduated to Victoria University. So I was very great, very lucky that uh, through my 10 years of study, I was able to graduate from a university. To the graduates, I'm sure that you've been worried about your, uh, your caps and your gowns and your tassels and uh, if you're going to fall down the stairs. Um, I can say that uh, it was a pleasure to watch all of you as you uh, received your, uh, your certificates and, uh, and diplomas and, uh, and watched uh, your families and, and yourselves uh, with a, a wonderful smile on your face. I wasn't so lucky to get into the university uh, instantaneously. I had to try uh, three times. Uh, I was an academic at my, when I was going to high school and so I had to work very hard to get here. And so um, I don't really remember wearing the, uh, the cap and gown when I was here getting my graduation, so I've actually enjoyed uh, the experience of wearing it today, and, uh, and I'll take that memory away with me. Throughout my, uh, my time of um, learning at the Institute, I was, um, I was blessed to have a, a mentor by the name of Dr Terry Seedsman. Terry taught me that, uh, that you needed to, uh, to continue to learn every day, that uh, just because you have a degree or a piece of paper does not mean that you're an expert in, in the field that you choose. He indicated to me that if this was my road to learning that uh, by going out into the community and doing that, that that was one way of doing it. If you wanted to go and do higher learning, then that was another way of doing it as well. I think throughout your journey you will learn that uh, the skills that you have learned at the, at the uh, university will stand you in good stead. And I hope that through your journey you have had a mentor like I have in Terry Seedsman and I publicly announced that, uh, that to me he was an inspiration and, uh, and guided me to where I am today, which I am um, very proud to say. Since leaving university, I've, uh, I've dealt with uh, children and families living with cancer, which has been um, a journey in itself. And through that journey, what I've learnt is that um, the kids who are, are going through the journey and, and, and possibly don't have a long-term survival rate, one of the things that they talk about is, is monumental moments in their life. Some of those are graduations, some of those are getting married, some of those are having babies. Today you experience one of those joys that sometimes other people don't get to do. So take it on board, enjoy it, enjoy it with your families, realise that you worked hard to get there and all those efforts to get there and all the toil and all the, the torment and I'm sure that the families who are here today would, would attest to the amount of effort and work that you've gone to to get to where you are today. Enjoy that experience. Put that uh, certificate or diploma up on a wall somewhere so people can see that that's what you've achieved. And then make sure that you take those learnings, as I said, and make them better for your community and for your family and for the people around you. Being at an organisation for 22 years is a very unusual situation in this day and age. The Y generation tend to move from um, organisation to organisation over a two to three year period. I suggest to you in my learnings that my 22 years at this organisation has taught me well. I've learnt a great deal, but along the way I've had to seek out information from people who have, uh, have given me guidance and, and advice that I've been able to take with me to, to take with on my journey. So I encourage you to do that as much as you can. There's never not, if you don't know something, and there's nothing wrong with the saying, I don't know that, please teach me that. 
And it's important that, that you do those things because that's the only way that you will continue to learn. I, um, I've read in the last couple of years uh, two books that uh, have stood me in good stead in terms of where I am and, and making sure that I uh, continue to uh, work with the beliefs that I have. One is called Tuesdays with Murray and the other one is called The Last Lecture. In both those books, the individuals that we talk, that are, are written about talk about uh, their lives and how they move through those different things. Obviously, they had adversity, but through that there were some many beautiful lessons to be learnt. And one of those that uh, Murray Schwartz talked about was that so many people walk around with a meaningless life. They seem to have be half asleep, even when they're busy doing things they think are important. This is because they are doing the wrong things. That the way that they, uh, to get many into their life is to devote yourself to the loved ones around you, devote yourself to the community that you work in, and devote yourself to creating something that gives you purpose and meaning. So I leave you today and, and I hope that uh, on your journey you're able to, uh, to take the things that you've learnt and use them wisely. And uh, I uh, congratulate you all. Um, enjoy the, uh, the celebrations and uh, enjoy the, uh, the gifts of uh, your family and friends. Thank you very much.